Hey guys, Johnny here again. This is gonna be pitch air episode, I've lost track, eight, nine, don't know. Gonna go into the avionics bay now, and I wanna talk through each of the components in hope that someone out there knows exactly what these things are and what they do. So, here she is, pitch air. The avionics bay is a section at the front of the luggage compartment where all the control computers and everything go. So let's go in there and have a look around. There's a secret little hatch underneath here, which you climb up into, and here it is. So, I don't know what this stuff is. That says proximity switch, moving along. Fire and overheat detector accessory, landing gear accessory, cabin interphone level control. Is that like a sound system? Down here, we've got a uh, transponder. I know what that is, two transponders. Then a Gonio indicator. Then we've got a marker receiver, public address accessory. Is that an amplifier? Maybe. We want to try and get as much of this working as possible. Then this thing here is a, doesn't say. Over here, I've no idea what that is. What does it say? Hapag Lloyd, uh, no idea either. Down here, public address accessory, is that an amplifier? And if so, how does it link in? Then this thing here, which is a, is that a frequency meter? Don't know. Over here, these two things, no idea what they are either. Then coming up here, this thing, it says RCVRIF out and RCVRIF in. So receiver out and in, I don't know. There's two of these things. They look really retro. They look like they're made from Bakelite or something. Okay, going to the other side here. Here's some more things we see from that. Uh, what it says on them, don't know what they are. Doesn't say either. Then more boxes like this. What do they do? Over here, pitch control channel, SP50 flight control system, air show, digital interface unit, air show cabin video information system. I guess that's like the flight information, right? Then we've got an ILS receiver, that's instrument landing system, I know that one. Uh, then down here we've got gyro test, gyro test. Is that a gyroscope? That's cool. Then autopilot accessory, then we've got roll control channel SP50 flight control system, air data sensor control system, pitch control channel. Then down here, this is interesting. Before connecting open battery charger, CV apply, blah, 24, blah, blah, blah. So this looks like it's the low voltage control, I guess. Yeah, 28 volts DC EXT, which I assume means external. What else have we got down here? APU crank hot battery. That looks like some kind of fuse board. Uh, yeah, so if anyone can shed some light on how this stuff works, that'd be great. Now, what we want to try and do is get the um, sound system working, get the lights working, and also get all the ducting working. In fact, on that front, can anyone tell me what that green thing does versus what that brown thing does? See, what we want to do is pump air into the fuselage um, through the existing ductwork so we can use that as a way of creating positive pressure of filtered air so we can displace any dust and we can also make sure the air coming in is free of any kind of like fungal spores or anything. So we can try and keep it as clean as possible. Does anyone also know what that red pipe there is? And can anyone shed any light on how the water reservoir works and how the um, sewage and shower reservoir works as well? These are all the things we have to figure out. Lots to talk about. Love to hear some feedback and thoughts. And hopefully see you guys soon.